It is now round eight. I think we have seven Doom tokens on the Doom track. And we have two or three gates sealed. So three more to go. Um, our inventory of clues is fairly good for Michael and Gloria, but Daryl has nothing. So Daryl's mission this turn is to grab some more clues. So let's start with Daryl. Before I move on, just a clarification is I keep forgetting about Michael's special ability, which is any phase he can reduce his stamina losses that he suffers by one. Um, so there probably were a couple of instances in previous rounds where he took some stamina loss and we had forgotten that he had this ability. So we won't back backtrack, um, but just to keep in mind that these could definitely come in handy. First player, Daryl Simmons' plan is for him to move up to the Hibs Road House and grab those clues. So he'll need movement of two. Um, so I think I'll actually move his will back up and then his luck as well um, in case he runs into any monsters. And that would be our two moves for Daryl. We'll also go ahead and give him two dollars. So I will just give him a five and take these. All right, and then we'll roll the retainer, uh, roll the die for the retainer, which is, which is one die. Okay, it's a six, so we'll keep the retainer. For Gloria, the plan is she will move one, two, and three into this portal here. So Gloria needs movement of three. That's one change. Finally, for Michael, the plan is for him to just come across one, two, and three and grab this clue token. So he needs three movement points, uh, which he has already. So I think for our one focus, we will go ahead and move up his, his speed. Reason being is I want him to be moving towards a portal afterwards um, in his next turn. And that movement from here up to that portal would require a five movement. So we'll move him one to four right now and on the next upkeep phase, we'll move him to five. All right, movement phase, starting with first player. Daryl has speed of three. He's only gonna spend two of them and grab these two tokens. Gloria, his, her movement is three. So one, two, and three and she will enter the portal next. The movement for Michael is uh, four, but he will spend three of those to come over here and grab this clue token. So this would be his fifth token, clue, uh, fifth clue token. Our command counter, starting with Daryl Simmons at Hibbs Roadhouse. So we'll grab this deck, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And with his ability, we get to draw two and pick one. So we draw two. And the first one says, prohibition failed to influence the proprietor of hips. You drink heavily while quizzing the locals about the strange goings, going ons in Arkham. Make a will minus one check. If you pass, you hold your liquor and learn something, gain two clue tokens. If you fail, you pass out, move to the streets, and either have one item or all of your money stolen. All right. Second one is pass a luck minus one check, or a pickpocket cleans you out, lose all your money. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one because uh, we're going to get some clue tokens. So let's go ahead and pick this encounter and do a will minus one check. Our will is at four. And we have our ally that gives us two, so it's actually six minus one. So that's a pretty good chance. Six minus one is five. And we want two clues. So let me move this. Okay. 
All right, we have one success. We have one six. So we succeed. Excellent. Good job, Daryl. And we'll grab two clues. I like this encounter. Okay, so he has now four clues. That's a great encounter. Second player, Gloria, she will, instead of an, um, she's on a portal, so she'll get drawn through this gate into the Plateau of Lung, which is over here. For Michael, we're at Historical Society, so we'll go ahead and grab this deck. We'll shuffle and grab one. All right, Historical Society, and we get Michael pays a $3 fee to gain access to the private private library. And he doesn't have to pay. Um, he can refuse to move to the street. If he pays, make a luck minus one check. If you pass, you learn an ancient spell from a dusty ledger. Uh, so you draw one spell. If you fail, you doze off and enter the dreamlands and have an encounter there. Then immediately return here. All right, our luck is not too bad for Michael. He has a luck of three and a skill of plus one. So we have a three dice roll for the luck check. So let's do that. Pay three dollars and do the luck check. And we need a success or we'll go into the dreamland. All right, so we actually get two successes, uh, which is good enough. And we'll grab a spell. Draw a spell. And it is find gates. Excellent. Well, this will come in handy. Um, you, the ability for this is immediately return to Arkham from another world. So we'll use this in a bit. So that's it for the Arkham encounter phase. We'll now begin our other world encounter phase because Gloria has entered the Plateau of Long. And this particular other world is, has a red and a green circle. So we'll have to draw gate cards matching those colors. Remember, Gloria's ability allows us to draw two gate encounters and then select one. So let's draw. This is yellow, so we discard. Blue, we discard. Another blue. Red, okay, keep. Blue, discard. Blue, discard. Discard. Come on, give me a green. Okay, red, red's fine too. Alright, we'll keep these two. So the first one says, a fast stirring rumble. A uh, fast stirring rumbles through the plateau, pass a sneak plus one check, or roll a die, and lose that much stamina. Alright, our sneak is not that good. Let's do something else. A monster appears from the shadows. Alright. Sneak. Um, let's take this one, the monster appears. Gloria comes across a monster and it is a cult cultist. Alright, cultist. She can evade or fight the cultist. So the cultist has my minus three on evade, so we won't even bother evading, we'll just fight it. And the first thing is do the horror check. Um and there is no no punishment for failing horror check, so we'll just move on to the combat. And the cultist has a combat modifier of plus one, so they're pretty easy to beat. Gloria has fight of zero, but she has a physical weapon, uh, so she'll go ahead and use that physical weapon. Six to combat checks. Plus one, seven. So we'll roll seven dice. All right, let's do that. We have seven here. And we just need one to kill the cultist. 
All right. Uh, so we get that as a, as a success. And we've defeated the cultists. This goes back into the monster cup. We don't we don't get we don't get to keep this as as a trophy because um, of the way it appeared. As a side note, even if the cultists appeared normally in um, you know in our uh, in our from a monster cup in our normal draws for the mythos phase, it would also go back to the cup because of the Ancient One's special attribute here, which says all cultists have an endless ability. And that means that upon being defeated, they go back into the Monster Cup. It's now the Mythos phase, and we'll go ahead and draw a Mythos card. And as we do that, we'll add one Doom token to the Doom track. We're almost nearing the end of the track here. All right, so this Mythos card says, Egyptian exhibit visits, visits Miskatonic U. It's an environment card, which will replace our existing one. Uh, first things first, which house gets a portal and a monster. And the portal is Great Hall of Celiano. Okay, great. Put that at the witch house, and then we'll draw a monster. And it is a zombie. So we have three, four, five monsters on the board. So this would be a six. Monster movement is pluses white and moons black. So the only monster that moves is a zombie with the moon. And he will go into the French hill. Okay, next. Clue appears at... Black cave, um, which has a portal so nothing comes up. And finally, the text says any investigator who end their movement in the Miskatonic U streets may pass a lore minus one check to gain a clue token by reading the strange hieroglyphics on the artifacts in the exhibit. Cool. All right. So we'll take this old card and replace it with a new one. And that would be the end of the Mythos phase. Gloria will start us off on our next round.